Good afternoon, everyone. It's Miss Renita here, and I want to welcome you to MMBC Albion's Nursery Lesson for the Week. So last week, we started talking about a man named Abraham. Abraham and his family left the city of Ur and traveled to a land called Canaan. Let's continue the story of Abraham. God makes a promise. Based on Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 through 18, verse 15. God came to Abraham again one night by the oak tree. Don't be afraid, Abraham, he said. I will keep you safe and give you a great reward. But Lord, said Abraham, I am old and don't have a son. Who will get this reward? And God took Abraham outside. Look up, he said. Try to count the stars. You have more children than there are stars. This land called Canaan will be theirs. And Abraham believed God. And God said Abraham was good because he believed. Now Sarah, Abraham's wife, could not have children. She had a slave named Hagar. And she came up with an idea. She went to Abraham and said, I cannot have children. Take my slave girl, Hagar. Maybe I can give you a child through her. So he did as Sarah said, and Abraham and Hagar had a son named Ishmael. One hot day, Abraham looked up and saw God and two angels nearby. They looked just like regular men. Abraham and Sarah rushed to make lunch for them. The men sat down and ate. Where's your wife? God asked Abraham. She will have a child soon. In the tent, Sarah heard this and laughed. I am much too old to have children, she thought. Why does she laugh, God asked. Nothing is too difficult for me. At the right time, she will have a baby. The end. I hope you all enjoyed today's lesson. As I stated last week, I'm doing a contest for the nursery class for the month of June. So at the end of each lesson, don't forget to ask your parents to help you answer at least one of the review questions. You can type your answers in the comments below. And on the first Monday at the end of class, I will be drawing names for prizes. So let's get to the review questions. Question number one, what did God promise Abraham? Question number two, where will Abraham's children live? Question number three, why did Sarah laugh? Question number four, why did Sarah think that she couldn't have children? Like I said, don't forget to type your answers in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to MMBC Albion's YouTube page. Okay, everyone, MNBC Albion is having a virtual vacation Bible school. That's right, virtual vacation Bible school, June 22nd through the 25th. We have classes for all ages, from nursery all the way through adults. You can go on our Macedonia Church Facebook page to register today. Hope to see you there.